Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Episode 3. We're playing Space Empires 5. Okay, where were we here? Um, I think we just sort of finished this turn. Uh, just hit the space bar. Yeah, no ships are left to move. So um, let's just quickly look at our science. I never did look at the episode from yesterday, so I'm not, I just want to refresh on where I am here. Uh, two more turns for that, and then we'll be able to uh, get into medium light hull construction. Uh, it makes our frigates just a little bit bigger. So that's uh, that's all good stuff. Uh, check our queues. Ah, we've got one queue that's empty right now. And this is this is the spaceport that can build ships. So the other two the other two planets are busy right now building their own spaceports. Uh, construction yard, I mean. This is a construction yard that builds ships. Spaceports are your, basically your economy stuff. Uh, you need at least one spaceport in each system. Um, so, and as you can see here, we still have 6,000 facility space after that's built. And we can see on this planet we've uh, used all the space. I think we got a few things queued up here. Yeah, so a total of 3,000 uh, kilotons of car, uh, f sorry, facility space. And uh, we got three things going in here. Each one of these takes 1,000. So that planet's actually going to be full. And we queued up some other stuff in here too, I believe some more storage, so we'll get that going. So right now we'll double click, we'll come in here and maybe build some more ships. Maybe another Columbus. Yeah, we'll get another explorer ship out there. And yeah, good enough. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and end this turn. Um, I think I looked in here just before we left yesterday, but yeah, so we need to get that storage happening because we're actually losing 14,000 minerals uh, and 4,700 radioactives every every turn. Uh, anything over and above, we, we just lose. So we'll get those done. So let's just uh, go to the next turn. Okay, some predefined routing going on. Oh! Okay, yeah, that's right. We, we met somebody at the end of the last episode. I guess I, maybe I should have reviewed the previous episode. Okay. Um, that's just our message going back to them. Remember, we added thanks for your time at the bottom. So we're still waiting for the reply. That's just uh, confirming that the message has been sent. Uh, now, where was that? Over here. So that's where they are. Um, chewing up all the ice planets. Ice methane. Okay, well, these guys are going to be an, uh, an expansion problem. I think I'm going to have to get aggressive with them really early. I'm thinking... And if we come into comparisons, um, the Guxe Alliance. Where are they on the. There they are. Um, they're in seventh place. They have two planets. We have three. I, I'm always at the top, so that's, what, that's where I'm looking right now for comparisons. Um, they got, yeah, we got to work on some units too this episode. Um, they got two ships or bases. And yeah. So right now they don't look too bad, but they're probably gonna be building up pretty good too. So let's uh here's our explorer. So we've pretty much explored this system. Um looking at our supplies, we're getting down there, but we can still go a bit further. So let's maybe come over to this warp point. And that's the only ship we have to move. So I don't think anything else got finished. So we can just uh, end the turn. Ooh, I saw a green one. Okay, so we got uh, light hull construction now, which we can research. Um, level two in frigates. Um, okay, 
We welcome our new ally. We have made the right choice. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to reply. I want it to view. Okay. So we now have a non-aggression treaty. So we shouldn't we shouldn't be hurting each other right now. Um, <laughs> my future plans are to hurt them a lot, but. Uh, um. Okay. So let's go to research first. And we'll crank back on that. I think there's one more level on this. You can go for a bit bigger frigates. But I'm just going to actually come off of that. Um, there's our medium light hull construction now. Expected results is a destroyer. So we definitely want to go to that like right away. Actually, I'm just going to go 80% on this, I think. Because one thing I do want to do, and I need, I, li I like to get this going fairly early, is applied research. Um, it gives you better research centers. So every time you research this, you get another level in your research centers. You can upgrade your facilities, get more science out of it. So I generally plop 20%, and I leave it there for the rest of the game. That's it. So we're working with 80% of our total spending for everything else. Uh, applied research gets 20%, and it stays. That's a, that's a very good thing to do. That just keeps your research going strong. Uh, if you neglect this, then you fall behind and, and you're into other problems like uh, smaller ships in wars and that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, where was that? There it is. What is it? Okay. We need a colony ship to come over here. So let's go to our queue. We will. Oh, good, we can build one right now. Okay. So get that building. Um, we got a red one in here too. Actually, we got two red ones. These will be domed colonies. They'll be smaller though. <coughs> um, so these are good for maybe uh, you know plopping a uh, one one. Uh, facility on an intelligence station or something like that um, but that one's going to be a good size we're going to get lots of space on this one so we definitely want to come over and grab that okay so next ship this is a new Columbus we've just built um, let's come over to this system and we'll, we'll see where this warp point goes Okay, and that's it for ship movement. Science should still be good. Yeah, we just set the science, so, um, yeah, next turn. Okay, maybe what we'll do now is we'll start uh, designing some units. Um, start getting caught up that way. Okay, so we got two spaceports constructed now. And these, two, if you look up here, you can see where this stuff is going on. So if I hover over, you can see that switching around. So you can see where stuff's going to. Um, if you want to go to the planet, you can just come down here and go go to, and it comes up selected and everything. Okay, but we still got stuff in the queue. Uh, if we go to construction, you can see we still have these things to build, which is our resource storage, which is a good thing. I don't think we have any actually built yet. No, so we got to get over the top of that get this hundred grand expanded so we can keep this stuff we're making right now we're losing tons okay so next ship available is the Columbus and I think we pretty much explored this whole system yep so let's uh, how's your supplies you're you're pretty much at the halfway point uh, maybe we'll just come over stick our head in here and just see what's in there first and then we'll maybe go for resupply um, you are at 26, so you can go a bit further. I think we're going to jump in here and see what that was. Oh, oh, oh. who is this? Okay, we have met somebody else. The Q Kappa Commonwealth. Um, Empire Report. And we don't have any reports available. And they're a neutral government type. 
so they get no advantage or advantages or disadvantages. And a bit of history here if you want to read through it. Okay. And they're rock oxygen, so we won't be competing for the same planet types. So uh, these guys are probably more, or a little better to actually do the trading and stuff with. Because, uh, like I said, these guys were going to uh, tick off eventually, I think. Okay, we'll let that go for the moment. Um, okay, and what were you doing? I think you just finished up in here. So we'll move over here. And you. You just popped your head in here, didn't you? So let's plot out this system. That should do it. Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of green ones in here too. Uh, you can set. I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can settle in the same system as other. Yeah, just because they're in here doesn't mean we can't come and grab these. I'm probably not going to. It's pretty far out of the way, and they're they're pretty small. Yeah, something to consider for the future, maybe. Okay, so that's the end of our movements. Uh, science is still going. I don't know why I came in and looked. And we got a nicer coming here. So we'll look at that next turn. Um, one thing we do have to do, like I said, is design some troops. Well, maybe we'll do that next turn. Okay. And we have a radioactive resource storage build now. And our next dicer. Okay. So if we come back in here now, our capacity is now 150,000. So I think next turn we'll probably get one of these done. So that's going to that's going to help us retain what we're making. Right now it's all just being wasted. So that's not a good thing. Okay, um, you're just going to warp through here. Oop, how about warp through here maybe? Oh, you're out of movement. Okay. Um, oh, we got two here. That's what's messing me up. Okay, well, you warp through then. Um, Alright, let's plot a course through here. Okay. And ICER. So we'll hit the T key. Transfer some population on there. And we will go settle that planet we found. Which was where? Over there. So hit the C key. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you get this error. If you load troops and immediately hit the C key at the destination planet, you sometimes get this error. It says it contains no cargo or any it can't contain any more cargo. It's trying to auto load. I already manually loaded, so not a big deal. And that's all our movement done. So I think we should have a queue available. Yep. So what we're gonna do is design some satellites, I think, this turn. So we'll come into our design screen and we'll go create. A uh, satellite. Small satellite is all that's available to us, so we'll select that. And that's what our satellites look like. Um, we have 70 kilotons of space on these. And uh, generally, unit uh, components are smaller and lighter than the ship components, of course. So our warnings say there must be a name for this design, so let's go with the name. Um, I'm just going to call it a def sat for now defensive satellite. Um, now it needs a computer warp core or a computer core so we'll put that on the inner decks. Again there's three decks here somebody actually asked if there's a reason for putting this stuff on or what decks uh, it doesn't matter put them on the tall on the top decks if you want or if you want to put everything on the middle decks or spread them out amongst the three not a big deal. So just put them wherever you feel like. 
Um, so that's our warnings gone, but we do want, so we've used 10 kilotons of space. We do want a weapon on here. Um, missiles are pretty heavy. 50 kilotons. I could put one on, but I could also get like two of something else on maybe. Uh, depleted uranium cannons. Maybe I'll put one of these. And one of these. So that's a projectile weapon. And I think this is a time to yeah, time distortion burst. What exactly does that do? Uh, projected burst of distorted time. A vehicle hit will take four times the damage to shields plus normal damage. Very nice. Very nice weapon. That's why I like temporal technology. Um, and it has pretty good range and pretty good firepower. Um, yeah, so you can, that's that's a that's how far you, the the sectors actually are. So obviously we can't shoot that far. Yeah, our range gets to here, but on the plus side, our weapon doesn't deplete over the range either. Sometimes this value gets shorter and, or smaller and smaller as you get further out. But uh, this one retains the uh, the actual punch right right out to its max limit. So that's a good weapon. Uh, if we right click on this one, it goes a little further. Uh, what, was, what was the damage on the other one? Um, 24. So they're different kinds of weapons. Um, this one fires a large depleted uranium projectiles. So it's more of a projectile weapon where the other one's more, I guess, a beam weapon. So it goes a little further. So what we're looking for on these satellites is distance for sure. Uh, we don't want other ships getting too close to them before uh, they start firing. Which leaves us 10 space left. So I think, uh, I don't know whether I should go with like combat sensors. Increases the chance to hit an enemy ship. Or should I put a couple pieces of armor on it? That's my choice at this moment. We can put two pieces of armor on it. Or we can give it a better chance to hit. You know what, these aren't going to be very tough anyways. A couple shots will probably take them out. We're going to rely on safety and numbers for these anyways, so let's go with the sensors. Okay, so that's the satellite designed. And uh, we named it, and we'll set the, the type to satellite. And I guess that's all we need to do. Uh, there's a weapons report here too. You can get this. This is a weapons report of all the year available weapons. Um, I think there's a couple different ways to, uh, yeah, you can sort it by cost or by firing rate, uh, can target. Um, so there's all kinds of information in here. Uh, seeking, uh, point defense, direct fire, and on ground, in space. So, damage at range. There we go. So you can either go with the, the bars or the text. I kind of like the text myself. A bit better information. Okay. Um, this row here is, I think it's your accuracy. So as you go, the further you go out, the less accurate the weapon is. So we got minus 40% accuracy uh, at our maximum range there. Minus 30% accuracy here. So yeah, um, it, this screen uh, is really good when you're trying to determine exactly what kind of weapons you want to put on your ships. Okay, so let's create that. Um, got to change the filter to show our non-obsolete unit designs in order to see it. So there's the def set. And I think while we're in here, let's create a troop as well. Um, Small troops, all that's available to us. Um, it's not. It's it's more of a troop vehicle than it is a troop, I guess. Um, so we only have eight space on this one, but uh, troop cockpits only take one. Um, ground thrusters only take one. So uh, there must be a name for this design. So set design name, and I'm horrible at coming up with names, so I'm just going to call it a trooper for now. Okay. Um, set design type. 
Pike will be a troop. Okay, um, strategy, I guess optimal range. I don't think I set a strategy for the a satellite. It's not that I, I don't think it really matters. It's not like it can't, can get away or anything. Okay, so go to the middle deck and we'll put our troop top pit there. Uh, lower decks. Now, it's just a question of how much of the, how many of these do I need? Two, I think. Um, 10 ground movement points. So I think I, I think I used to put two on, so we'll do that. So we'll go one, two. So that uses three space. So that gets us a cockpit and moving. We still gotta put weapons on this thing. So let's see what we got for weapons. Small rocket pods. Let's uh, just go to our weapons report here. Small rocket pods. Actually, provide a pretty good punch. Yeah, so do those, but not as good. Gets further. Depleted your inventor. Small rocket pods, how big are they? Five. <laughs> that pretty much uses all the space. Uh, we got five space left. Um, I might go with that. Okay, and I got one space left. I think combat sensors. Um, yeah. So it adds a bit to the uh, attack modifier. And you can actually look at the attack modifier if you come up here and click. You can click between these two screens. Uh, attack modifier 5%. And that's what it told us when we looked at the information. Okay, um, I guess that's it. So create. So now we have a troop and a satellite. Uh, we'll just go with that for now. Um, so we'll build some satellites here. So we'll come over, we'll select units, and there's the two things we just uh, built. Um, now they don't take much to build, so I generally go, to, I, I change my amount for when I double click to 11, so every time I double click it adds 11. And it's only going to take two years, two turns to build 11 of these. So I'm going to do that a few times. There's four turns, so four turns gets us some good planetary defense here. And um, we'll go with some troops on the ground after that. Okay. So that's troops done. And I don't think we have much else to do, so we'll just end the turn. Okay, so we got five satellites built now. More mineral storage and organic storage. So, now we got 150 across the board. Now I think I have another planet that's building this stuff too, so that's going to give us a good, uh, a good uh, storage uh, number. I think it'll be 200,000 for each, so. Okay. Um... Oh, you're about to warp through here, see what's in the other side. Okay, and... Ooh. Um, let's have a look at where we are here. So, I think we came out this way and came down or something. So I might be able to actually circle around this system and make it back. Uh, it's kind of a risk, but I think I'll take it. So we'll explore this first, then we'll head back for resupply. So, Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay. And what do we got here? Another Columbus. I think you're done in here. 
Oh, no. Still got to come over here a bit. Okay, and we'll come over and see what's through here. Ooh, actually, no, we won't. Um, oh, let's cancel that last order. That one. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to hit it with a resupply order, which I think is R, isn't it? No, S. Good thing I did that. Okay, so we'll just hit a resupply order on that because it's down to 1750. So we need to get back for supplies and we're way out here. So that's uh, that's the idea of keeping an eye on your supplies. Uh, this gets to zero, like I said, it moves one hex at a time. So it'll take forever to get home. So really got to watch that. Um, what was going on here? Oh, you just got in here, so we'll go explore. Okay. And that's it for movement. So, if we look at... Is that our home planet there? No. Where's our home world? Over here. There it is. So now if we look at the icons here, it shows another box that's that's the icon for uh, for satellites. I don't know whether you can see it very well in the YouTube video, but uh, that's... And when we get troops, another box will show, to, to, will show up to show that we have troops here as well. It's the sector view. Not very exciting. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it for this turn, I think. How's our science doing? Two more turns for that. Okay. So next turn. We should be hitting that planet to colonize here any turn now. Ugh, oh, I'm doing this system twice. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh, I didn't notice what says. I'll have to go fix that. Okay, some more satellites and another mineral storage constructed. Um, where was that? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? There, there. Okay, what are you doing? You're exploring that way, and you're exploring that way. That's useless. So one of these, I think, needs resupply. You do. So we'll uh, cancel those orders. And we will hit resupply. Okay. And that's it for movement. Okay, so that's done. Uh, facilities. We still have 6,000 kilotons for facility space. So have a look at our planet. Um, we could build some radioactive mines on here. Or facilities. Um, let's see how our races are doing. Mood is happy. Loyalty 100%. Um, okay. What I think I'll put here is one of those and one of those. An intelligence center and a research center. Research centers generate 500 research points. Intelligence centers generate 500 intelligent points. So we're going to need those. Uh, we know people now, so we definitely want to get our intelligence up. And we'll have a look at the intelligence screen. So these are the empires we know. Uh, we have no intelligence points available until we get that uh, facility built. And one facility will not be enough, so we'll have to build some more. And we can distribute how what we're doing. Uh, Sabotage for planets and colonies. And there's all kinds of options in here. So we can put our total spending. We can spread either throw it all in one or spread it across a few. So we'll, we'll see how that works in the future episodes. Um, I think that's it for now.
Okay. We now have technology for medium light the whole construction, which means we can now build destroyers. So maybe next uh, episode we'll look at uh, building up some uh, some fleets and that. Um, develop the destroyer level one, so we can build destroyers now. And our intelligence centers are now constructed, more storage, and more satellites. Okay, so let's have a look at the intelligence screen. And I think I gotta wait a turn before we get the first 500. So we still have no intelligence happening yet. So that'll take another turn. Uh, what are you doing? You just finished exploring in here, I guess. So yeah, I'll move to that port point. And that's it for ship movements. And we can put some satellites at this plant. And we'll go by 10 or 11s, I guess. Um, how much space do each one of these take? 70 kilotons. So if I build 100, that'll be 700 kilotons. So we got tons of space. Uh, I don't know why I'll build 100, but we'll build a few and couple rounds of that. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the end of the movement, and it's also the end of the episode, so we'll just have a quick look around here. Um, so yeah, medium light construction, we now have uh, we now have that, so we'll change that up. So we'll pull that off of there. Uh, it's just a decision on what to do next. Um, fighters, troops, satellites, weapon platforms. So we got the tech for all that stuff, for at least level one. So that's good for now. I wouldn't mind, actually, just a bit better weaponry on my ships. So we're using depleted uranium cannons, and we're using temporal weapons right now. Um, I think we'll go for this one. Improve our projectile weapons. Okay. And our cues are still going. So that's good. Um we should be getting pretty close to that planet we found. Where was that one? Was it in here? This one, yeah. That's probably the ship coming up to it now. Yep. Okay, so we'll get that next turn or next episode, I guess. So, things are starting to progress. Um, we're going to have a problem over here, I think, with... Uh, which, where were they, these guys? But you know what? These guys are side by side. So, with any luck, they'll sort of scrap it out with each other. That's uh, these two systems right here. So, yeah, hopefully they'll scrap it out with each other, keep their numbers down while I build mine and come up and deal with that. Um, yeah. So, that's uh, where we stand. Uh, we'll just come in and have a look at comparisons before we leave. And I'm now second place. Where was I? Sixth or something last time? I can't remember. Yeah, I know I dropped fairly low. But, as you can see, we're starting to get some numbers here. Uh, and that seems to be where these guys are uh, concentrating their efforts. Well, we've got the same amount of ships. We're pretty good for ships by the looks of it. Little light on units. That's your satellites and troops and everything. So we'll hop that up. Um, intelligent points. We're just getting going on. And yeah, it's not bad. Yep, we're doing all right. Mind you, we are only what? How many turns into this game? Uh, Twenty-four oh one dot eight. So we're eighteen turns into this game. So we're not very far in. So to say we're doing well at this point probably is a bit misleading. Anyways, that's this episode finished. Um, hope you're enjoying these, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a great day.